clerkship in D.C., Peter went to work as an assistant U.S. attorney in the Southern District instead. Then he left to teach federal courts and criminal law at NYU Law School. In 1971, then Professor Zimroth was asked by Detective David Dirk to represent him before the Knapp Commission, which was created by Mayor Lindsay in the wake of disclosures by Dirk and Patrolman Frank Serpico about serious problems of corruption in the New York City Police Department. A whistle-blowing cop sounds Meshuggah, no? <laughs> but here in our little village of Manhattan, <laughs> there was once such a courageous man, one courageous enough to scream out that something was rotten in the state of the police department. You may ask, what would motivate such a loyal officer to bear witness against his brethren in arms? That, I can tell you in one word, corruption. David Dirk, a head that would be me, uh, to shatter the infamous blue wall of silence, providing evidence of widespread corruption in the system. My revelations meant, led Mayor John Lindsay to appoint the Knapp Commission and to subsequent reforms. Oh, they also earned an Oscar nomination for Al Pacino, who famously portrayed the whistleblower who followed my lead, Frank Serpico, who would later take all the credit, but I digress. <laughs> the point is, who represented David Dirk as he boldly provided evidence of widespread corruption? Why, none other than noted civil rights attorney and do-gooder Peter Simron. <laughs> Once there was a cop who said that things were broken, vocal had outspoken, conscience was awoken, there was a man whose passion was unleashed, he fought until his conduct ceased. It's blatant, he cried. It's blatant, corruption, corruption, corruption. Absolutely no connection to his years at the bar. 
well, it's true a bar was involved. <laughs> but that one was in Greenwich Village. That's where Peter met love his life, Estelle Parsons. Harry, it's good to see you. Peter, what's up? Uh, you know, there's an acquaintance of yours who I've been dying to meet for the longest time. A woman? Don't tell me it's a woman. You want me to arrange an assignation with a, a woman? Uh, come on, uh, Peter. It's somebody who uh, I've met in my building on the elevator, but I've just never gotten up the nerve to speak with her. And I know her? Uh, sure, everybody does. She was in uh, that movie, uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Estelle? You want to meet Estelle Parsons? I do. Well, I know her pretty well. She's a force of nature. Acting, directing, writing, she does it all. Sure, I can introduce you. All right, but listen, I don't want to come off like some crazed theatrical groupie. It's got to be natural. Uh, any, any ideas? Sure. Uh, Estelle's making a movie in the village with Zero Mostel. The title is Foreplay. She's playing a barmaid in a saloon in Greenwich Village. A barmaid? So it's not Shakespeare. But I can get your job as an extra in the bar scene. No lines, but plenty of opportunity to sidle up and speak to her. Uh, what the hell? It sounds like fun. I don't think anything will ever come of it, but at least we'll be able to say hello when we see one another in the elevator. Great. You got the job. Be at the West Village Bar at 10 a.m. on Monday.